Georges Cuvier was a French scientist in the 19th century who was an expert at comparing animal species by their bones. One day, he noticed something strange. Some of the fossil bones he was studying didn't quite match those of animals that were alive in his day. This discovery was very puzzling. In Cuvier's time, most people thought that all life had been created at once and had stayed the same through many, many generations up to the present day. Animals didn't change from one to another and they certainly didn't disappear altogether. So where did these strange bones come from? To solve this puzzle, Cuvier got out of the museum and visited mines around Paris to study rocks and their fossils. He noticed that strange bones seemed to be buried deep in older rocks and as you moved up through younger and younger rocks, they disappeared entirely. That gave him an idea. Some animals are not found today because they completely died out thousands, even millions of years ago, and the history of their appearance and disappearance is preserved in the rocks. Cuvier identified more than two dozen of these extinct species, leading him to think about revolutions. Dramatic periods when many animals went extinct as an essential part of the history of life on Earth. Today, five mass extinctions are known to have occurred, and while we think of evolution as the main force that drives new adaptations and forms, mass extinction events also play a large role by creating ecological niches for different species to occupy. You might say that thanks to Cuvier, our knowledge of abrupt changes in the history of life is rock solid. <laughs>